Jason Zimmerman joins us today to talk some Emory men's basketball. Coach, an exciting time, a UAA opener this Saturday against Rochester. You know, it's what you work for. Uh, all through your non-conference schedule, you work to get ready to play uh, in, in our league, and our league's always very challenging, great coaches, really good players, and, uh, and it's an ex exciting time to challenge yourself, and uh, it'll be you know, no different Saturday and noon. You know, uh, Rochester 6-5 and five overall, winner last night at Averett. Uh, talk about this Rochester team, some of the things that uh, – you know, you'll need to do to combat what they do well. Sure. well they shoot the three very well. Uh, they shoot the three very well, and they got an inside presence with Sankey's and um, and Reardon. That's uh, that's uh, inside out basketball. They play very well as, uh, as well. So transition, they score a lot of points just like we do, uh, and they shoot the three. So I have to guard the three point line. Um, you know, they're they're had one of the best players in the country last year, and they've done a great job of. Uh, since they've lost him, they've done a great job of uh, molding their guys and getting their strengths to to fit what they're doing right now. You know, uh, this UAA game on Saturday against Rochester, first of three straight conference games at home, uh, it gives you a really good opportunity to get the league portion of the schedule off to a good start. Yeah, you know, uh, I haven't really looked past the Rochester game. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't really uh, just started looking at Rochester after we had our Birmingham Southern game. So uh, we understand we're in the middle of a five-game home stretch, and uh, we uh, like to protect our, our home court, and you have to do that in our league, and uh, we know it's important. I think there's a familiar uh, a familiarity with uh, playing at home, a comfort that you have with playing at home. but. Uh, you know, every team that comes in from the UAA is, is prepared. Every team that comes in, you know, is, is ready to uh, compete, and uh, we're gonna have to play well on Saturday. Uh, you, you mentioned it uh, a little bit earlier about the uh, Birmingham Southern win. How about a recap of that? Kind of like a, a game of two halves. Yeah, you know, uh, when we went back and looked at the film, it was really frustrating on the bench during the game. We just couldn't make a shot, and uh, when we went back and looked at the film. Uh, you know, we started off the first three or four possessions defensively pretty poor, and they made shots, and then we missed, we missed uh, I think, nine of our first ten shots in there. But we got good shots, and we just, so many times in the game, you allow your shot making to dictate your energy level. And uh, we hung in there, and we battled, even though we were missing shots, we kept defending, and we got better defensively as we were missing shots. And that's hard to do. And I think that's growth of our team. I don't know if we did, we would have done that a month ago. And I think that was growth. So we hung in there, we battled, we cut it to one and a half, and then we started making shots in the second half and defending better and uh, played really well. Uh, one of the best halves we played all year in the second half. All right, Coach. Well, thanks very much for your time. We'll let you get back to work, and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Sean.